Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we're doing a Disneyland Paris tag which was created by So Helena and Martin. So um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, first question is when was your first trip and how many times have you been? Okay, so my first trip, I think I was about seven. It was quite a surprise because we just went down to Milton Keynes to visit my auntie and then the morning after we woke up and my mum handed me a brochure for Disneyland Paris and I thought oh yeah it's just gonna be another day we're just gonna do whatever but she was like no no seriously this is like my first like holiday abroad so I hadn't even had like a pass this was like the first time I had a passport and I somehow managed to get a passport of me without even me knowing um, so yeah that was uh, that was quite a big surprise actually so but I've been seven times since then obviously twice with yeah, I've only been three times. So I went with my parents when I was about 10 and then twice last year. What Disney hotels have you stayed in and one you haven't stayed in but you'd like to? Okay, so we've stayed in Santa Fe the first time and then Sequoia Lodge the second time. And I think the first time I went it was the Explorers Hotel. Um, but I'd really like to stay in the Disneyland Hotel, obviously. Cause that'd yeah. be the dream, yeah. really. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I've stayed at exactly the same hotels um, when I went with family. I, I went to the Explorers, but I'd also been to Santa Fe as well. Um, did like both Santa Fe and Sequoia, um, and uh, the Explorers, I don't think that's a Disney particular no. hotel, but um, yeah, Disneyland Hotel. I mean, you'd be able to sit and just watch the fireworks from your hotel room if you've got the right room, yeah. obviously, but yeah, no, that would be that would be the dream. What is your favourite restaurant? Whew. So we've only really done one restaurant, haven't we? Yeah. Other than like quick services. Um, so for Emily's birthday last year, um, which I'll leave a link in the card annotation, I think it's on that side. Um, we went to Plaza Gardens. I've heard kind of mixed reviews for like lunch and dinner, um, but for bre we went for breakfast, so it was an all-you-can-eat breakfast, kind of buffet style, and you met the characters as well so that um, that was a really good experience yeah yeah I'd say that for mine as well because obviously it's the only one we've been yeah. to so but it was really good a restaurant that you'd like to eat in but haven't yet so I'd really like to eat in the ratatouille yeah. the bistro share me yeah because that looks really good and the food looks nice as well yeah you can get steak in there and, and also the Jack Sparrow one I don't know what that's called oh um, I think it's Captain Jack's maybe yeah yeah um, yeah, to be honest, the same because um, I like that they both sort of look into the their like respective rides, like um, the Ratatouille, like the Bistro Cherry Me. When you get off the Ratatouille ride, you actually see the restaurant, and uh, it's all sort of themed, themed so that you're the size of a rat. So that that would be cool to do. And then obviously Captain Jack's um, the first sort of turn on the Pirates ride. Smell of the ride as well. Yeah, yeah. Sitting there in the smell of the ride. So, mm. yeah, I'd have to agree on that one as well. Your favourite quick service slash fast food? Um, so, we don't really stick to one always, no. do we? So, for me, um, my favourite one would have to be the Pizza Bella Notte, I think it is. I probably completely butchered up the pronunciation of that, but it's the um, Lady and the Tramp themed sort of quick service. Um, we had, well, I had a pizza and a drink, and I think it was like a little like Magnum, Magnum or something yeah. like that, uh, and a thing of garlic bread. Um, and then you had. Um, I had the meatballs and spaghetti, and then I had a little tiramisu as dessert. And garlic bread as well, so yeah. that was really nice. I thought like the quality of the food over, like, well, what you got for the price was pretty good as well. Yeah, it's so. better than all the others where we got where we just got like chicken nuggets and chips. Yeah. What is your favourite shop? So, favourite shop, I'd probably have to go with the Christmas shop inside the castle just because it's so pretty in there. And obviously, all the Christmas decorations and baubles and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd have to agree with that one. Uh, only other one that I can think of is the crystal shop that's also in the castle, um, where they have all the sort of glass um, ornaments, and they, I've I've seen them a few times. Actually, you can watch them making, making them as you're there, so that's pretty cool as well. I'm pretty sure there's a similar one on Main Street, 
but the one in the castle specifically just because it's in the castle really. Okay, your favourite season or event? Um, so we've only really been, I, I don't really remember any particular event when I was a kid when we went when I was going there, no. but when we went last year, the two times that we did go, um, the first one it was um, Pirates or Princess season, um, and then the second time was Halloween. So there wasn't really much for the Pirates and the Princess season. No, other it's just than, a parade. Yeah, it? other than a parade, which it got repetitive and annoying after a while of hearing that same song. Um, but yeah, Halloween, it was, I mean, when we were there, it was sort of the end of September. So they were just sort of starting to drip feed things into the park. And um, yeah, so they had like loads more character meets than you would usually. Yeah, and they had that villain show as well, didn't they? Yeah. We didn't see that. Yeah. Uh, we saw a sort of snippet of it because we were we were waiting to get a glass of Prosecco. Um, why not? It no, was I mean the one by the like by the castle, that little stage during the day. Oh yeah, there was that one as well. They had like so they had sort of two nighttime shows kind of thing. There, there was one and it was on the stage to the sort of right of the castle. Um, where they had all sort of different villains, which we didn't manage to catch. We wanted to, but didn't. And then they had a sort of um, tag on the front of um, Illuminations, is it? Mm. Uh, on the front of that, which was just um, like a projection kind of show of all the villains. We did actually kind of see that, like I said, because we oh, waiting for a Prosecco. Disneyland Paris or Walt Disney Studios Park? Well, that's a hard one. I like them both for different reasons, really. Yeah. The Disneyland Park is just Disney, is it? It's got the castle. Yeah. Princesses. It is magic. Yeah. Essentially. But then the Studios Park, you also got the good rides like Tower of Terror, Crush's Coaster, Ratatouille. Yeah. So I don't know. I think for me currently, as much as I love a lot of the rides in the Studios Park, until they expand it, because mm. at the moment they're changing a lot over to Marvel and then they're adding Frozen and there's going to be a little Star Wars section. But currently, I think favourite park would be uh, Disneyland yeah, Park. I'll go with that as well. Okay, next question. Your favourite ride in each park? Um, so, favourite ride in the Disneyland Park I'll start off with. Um, probably Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain. Hands down, the best Space Mountain. Yeah, it is. Um, just because the ride system is completely different to all the other ones. Like they've got the corkscrews and everything like that kind of rides. Um, so yeah, um, and especially that sort of, is it like a layover of it? Yeah. Um, I, I don't know, when I, when I seen it, it was there, I was like, mm, I don't know whether it's going to work, but it did. It looked really, it worked really well. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain. Uh, so my favourite ride for the Studios Park would probably be Tower of Terror. Before it would have been Crush's Coaster, but they sort of redone Tower of Terror now. So it's got like three different stories depending on which lift you go through. Um, and it's about this girl where she's trying to help you, like get away from the demons and stuff. And I don't know, like, you just feel more immersed and yeah. everything in the story. When we were there last. Um, on our second to last day, was it? Or something, something like that. Something like that, yeah. And they just re, like re, well, they were sort of soft opening it because they didn't actually close the ride to do it because it was all just updating the projections yeah. and stuff like that. Um, so they soft opened it whilst we were there, and then the, the, I think it was the day that we were leaving was the day that they actually started did, it properly. Yeah, started yeah. it properly and did sort of media previews and stuff like that. So it was really quite. Lucky that we did it, but yeah, yeah really enjoyed that version over the older version. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah agreeing on both of them. Um, I might say Thunder Mountain for the Disneyland Park. I think I feel that's the best version. Yeah. Over Florida as well, and yeah, Tower of Terror would definitely be my favourite in the Walt Disney Park Studio, whatever. What is your favourite land in the Disneyland Park? Well, for me, it's probably Fantasyland. Because you've just got all the magical rides there. When you think of going to Disneyland, that's where I think of, really. So you've got Dumbo, Peter Pan, the Carousel. It's just all magical and Disney. What about you? So I'm going to completely be different and I'm going to go for Frontierland. Simply because they've actually developed like a backstory for the land and how 
Big Thunder and the Haunted Mansion is the same, like with it in like it links in the same story and like just how they've explained why everything is what it is and everything. Okay, next one is your favourite character meet. Hmm. Um, so we've had a few, quite a few. Quite a few. Uh, I think our character count is up to like something like thirty or something like that. There's probably not a lot compared to others, but um, but for Disneyland Paris, for a year, not too bad. Yeah, for a year, it's not too bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, my favourite character meet in Disneyland Paris would probably have to be um, when we met the uh, the Queen of Hearts, the White Rabbit, and the Tweedles, Tweedledum and Tweedledee. So yeah, that that would be my favourite because it was just something we we didn't really expect it. It was it was again because of the Halloween season. Yeah. They just brought out all of these different characters and stuff, uh, and then we just dotted about the park everywhere. But um, yeah, that particularly because just the character interactions were so good. Yeah. Um, like the Queen of Hearts would not stop stroking my head like that. Um, I'll put a little video in now if that. Is if we can find it somewhere, um, but yeah, that's my favourite one. I think mine would be when we met Mickey the first time we went together in the studios park because it's the first time I'd seen him in like so many years, so I was so excited to see him. And he was just making a big fuss of me because I had a Mickey bag which he loved, and then I had a mini denim jacket on which he kept pointing out as well, so that was really good. Your best character meet and greet experience. So yeah, it's kind of the same. Kind of the really. same, yeah. So um, yeah, the Alice characters for me. Or my birthday breakfast where we met like yeah Mickey, Donald. The one, the one for me from that character breakfast would be the Tigger, Tigger, Tigger one. one. Yeah. Because I had um, an Aladdin T-shirt on, and it had the Cave of Wonders on the front of it, um, and. Tigger kept pointing at it and he was like scared and stuff like that so Yeah and he preferred my Beauty and the Beast top Yeah he did <laughs> Your happiest or best Disneyland Paris memory? Um, so for me probably when we first went together like the day that we walked into Disneyland Park because um, we came straight off the Eurostar and just went straight to the parks because we had the Magic Express which meant that they sent our bags straight to the hotel, so we didn't even go to the hotel until the parks mm. were closed. Um, but yeah, probably just that first sort of initial walk in, um, just because obviously that was the first time that we'd been to Disney yeah. at all together, really. So um, yeah, probably that. Yeah, for me, it was probably when we first went together and watched Illuminations, just because I was so excited to see that. and. Being together, watching it as well, was really magical. I yeah, think. I made it oh so more special. Yeah, emotional. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, we'll tag a bunch of people in the comments below on who should do it next. Uh, go check out their channels, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a magical day. Mm -hmm.